best website to book hotels online without any advance payment. Does this sound interesting to you guys? This is extremely possible and this is how I book all my hotels, hostels, apartments, homestays. This is exactly how I've done it before and this is how I do it and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm a loyal customer to this website not because they give me special discounts but because they have amazing offers especially how flexible they are on payments. For example, you can pay at the property, no need of advance payment. Second, you have a fully refundable option. Third, the option says free cancellation. That means I can book now and I can cancel almost one day before departure date. For example, if you do not get your visa or if your flight gets cancelled, you have the option of cancelling the booking without paying a single payment. Therefore, you don't even have to wait for the refund. You just have the money already. Right? Isn't that interesting, guys? I think for me, that was the best part. And since then, I've started booking all my hotels through booking.com. So today I'm going to take you through the process of how to book a hotel on your mobile. I have a mobile app and it's amazing to have the app because once you make all your uh, hotel bookings, you can quickly go on your app and you can see your history or your future uh, stays. Uh, even once you go to the hotel, you can just show them that here is my booking. So you don't need paper confirmations or any of that. Everything is in your mobile phone and it's extremely easy to quickly do things on the phone and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's do it. I'm going to go to my travel apps. Here we go. This is booking.com. Great. Now this is the booking.com screen here. I've signed in. This is my name Malvika and this is the genius level. It shows genius level too because I am pretty loyal to booking.com and I always book through booking.com. You will also get the same, the genius one, once you start using booking.com more. Now here I've put the destination. Uh, I've already put Athens. I'm going to select uh, Athens guys, but one because I love the city, it's my favorite city. Also because um, they have opened uh, borders now. So I think we'll see a lot more options to choose from. Now here I'm going to put the date. Let's put July. For example, I put 8th to 10th July, select dates. Here, here you can choose how many rooms you want, how many uh, adults in one room. Done. Search. Now, what is the best way to search for a hotel or an apartment or a hostel or anything? Guys, number one, what you should do, what I do is go to filter, not sort, go to filter. Now, there are a lot of filters that you can choose from. Number one, what I do for me is I'm going to go to distance from the city center because I love my hotels to be in a, in a one kilometer radius or so. So I'm just going to put less than half a mile. Okay, now here, landmarks. If you know which landmarks you want, you can go and directly click on the landmarks that you're okay staying close to. Uh, I, would, I would like to stay in near Syntagma Square, but they're almost kind of all in the same area as per my knowledge. So I'm just going to keep it as that. Second, what I'm going to do is you have the you have a lot of preferences bed preference property type property type could be apartments hotels guest houses if you're very specific you can choose that i am not specific what i definitely want is breakfast included right so i'm going to put that breakfast included now what i'm going to do is here the review score i don't like staying in properties which don't have good reviews so what i'm going to do is i can definitely go uh, to nine plus but sometimes these are a little expensive than what we would really expect so i'm going to do eight plus which are still amazing amazing uh, hotels and uh, apartments guys so no no issues there second if you have star ratings five star hotel four star three star you can choose i don't have uh, i don't really need that right now here do you want to stay in Athens city center or these are uh, areas surrounding it? I'm just going to select Athens city center because like I said, I like that. Free cancellation, we can come to this later. If you want to do it right away, you can do it, right? So the best thing about booking.com uh, is you can cancel a day before your stay. Also, you don't have to pay before. You go to the hotel and then you pay, guys, right? I'm going to say show results. Now, do you see we have 71 out of 5,000 properties, which is great. Now what you do is, 
you go to sort, you go to price low to high. Of course, if you don't if you don't have any price issues, that's fine too. That's great, in fact. But for me, I normally go from price low to high. So I know I have more options and I will go with the best one, but which is uh, slightly inexpensive than the others. Now I'm going through all these. There's Omero's Hotel, Adam's Hotel. I just look at the pictures, guys. You will say, how do you select which one to go for? To be honest, I just look at the pictures, right? This three stars, two stars, two star. this one. Okay, this is 9.2. Guys, look at the ratings, 9.2 and look at the price. It's amazing. Look at the picture. It's great. Click on it, right? So you get the pictures. Here you get the pictures. Below it is what you get reviews. You get reviews about the hotels. Now what we can do is select rooms. Once you go to select rooms, there are two options available, free cancellation, non-refundable. I definitely don't want non-refundable, right? So I'm going to go for free cancellation, maximum guests too. Now, this is the options you get. You have breakfast included, pay at the property, you don't have to pay now. You have everything you need, AC, free Wi-Fi, uh, best price with free cancellation, classic double room. Now, here you have options, superior double room, classic double room with the Acropolis view. So whichever fits for you, you can go. I'm going to click on this because I want to see the pictures, how it looks. Looks fancy to me. I love it. Wow. Great. Wonderful. I'm going to book. I'm going to book this one. Its price for two nights is about 12,000 rupees, including taxes and charges for two people. That means that is 6,000 rupees, one person per uh, one person for the whole stay, which means it's 3,000 rupees per person per night. Guys, this is amazing. And plus, what's great about it is you can cancel it until the 5th of July. That is three days before departure. So if your visa doesn't come in, if your flights get, if anything happens or you plan to uh, book another hotel, you can always, always cancel this. So you click on reserve and you fill in all your details, leisure, and then you go to the next step. There you go. You have all your details here. The hotel, check-in, check-out, classic room, charges, final price, price in euros. Here, you will pay in euros according to the exchange rate on that day. Right? Do you get that? So now everything, everything here is what you need. And you are done, guys. This is the final step. Once you go to the final step, here, card. Now, here, what you need to do is to finish your booking. You just need to add your details. My details are already added. Your card will not be charged. They just need it because in case you don't cancel it at the right time, they would need it, guys. They would need it uh, so that they can charge you. No payment needed today. You'll pay during your stay. Free cancellation to 5th July, that time. Book now. Once you book now, your rooms will be booked. So thank you guys. I really hope you liked the video and I'm going to start making short and sweet tutorial videos about all the apps and websites that I use for my travels. This was one and a lot will follow. So see you soon again on my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.